Here we are right now. No longer 17. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I'm a graphic designer and today I'm going to take you through my website planning, creating, designing, my whole process with developing a website. So like I said, I'm a graphic designer. I take on freelance clients. I usually stick to clients that are looking for a brand design development or someone that needs social strategy, or I take on some miscellaneous graphic design illustration needs as well. I recently went through the process of rebranding myself, and if you haven't seen it yet, I have a two-part video that shares everything that I do with creating a logo for myself, and then I've taken that a step further. I've gone and actually created a style guide where I've labeled my different color choices, my different type choices, and completed that entire study of what that will look like moving forward. I've also gone ahead and created a couple patterns that I'm excited to use throughout my supporting elements and then within my website as well. Starting out with the website, I really need to start with a planning phase. I am going to be taking my website from its current platform onto a new platform. So I'm going to initially start with a landing page. I want to create how that landing page is going to be. And then I also need to create a site map after that to decide what exactly is going to be on there and where it's going to go. I've already started with hiring a copywriter who is awesome. Her name is Blossom Copy. Well, it's Micah at Blossom Copy. So if you're interested, I'll have her link down below. She was so amazing to work with. And not only did she help write my copy, but she really started my layout for my website design. So that's my homepage that she wrote that for. But I really need to start again to see what I can use from that onto my landing page and I'm just going to begin planning it. So for my planning phase, I'm just gonna be using a Google Doc to label all my ideas and I'm also going to go ahead and open my homepage copy that is from Micah. I'm just gonna use this as an opportunity to really get down my thoughts and see where to go from there. Have we been around? Got some years on us. And a new bell as a sea. So we hear that I still appear inside your dreamland. We that I still appear inside your sleep. And does he know about our time inside your ramp cycle? And that I'm on the way where the night goes. Okay, so I finished labeling what my landing page would be like. I have kind of broken it off of what the copy had already said. I want to make it as close to my homepage as possible. And so I included a lot of the aspects that don't need buttons per se, but again, this is a lot to cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to cover every single aspect of this in the landing page, but my idea is I'm going to start my landing page close to what my homepage is gonna look like. So when I go to design my homepage, I can replicate it. Next, what I'm going to do is start my sitemap. I'm just doing this in an Adobe Illustrator file. I'm just going to make random boxes and text and really just start to make what the sitemap will look like, starting with the homepage as the top hierarchy. Okay, I have my sitemap done for now. I've basically just broken it out from my homepage to one, two, three, four, five different categories that people can click on and move from my homepage from there. First, we have the Get Started, which is my inquiry page. This will have one page within that, which is to go to my See My Work page, which really is connecting to another page for my homepage. I have a tell me more page, so that will be my service page. Under the service page, I'm going to have the three different services I have and break those out a little bit more with their own pages. The get to know me page, which will just be that. And then under home page again, we have the take me to a blog page and I have two different blog posts that I want to do to kick off this website launch. 
and then I have my featured work page. Right now under the featured work page there's five other pages that's going to go out to which are just five projects that I would like to showcase. I may just start with three of these for the launch. We'll see. I might add those in later. It's actually good to be constantly working on your up your website and updating it from an SEO point of view. For now, I'm feeling really good about this. Always laying it out into a sitemap really makes it show how much work it's going to be. The next thing I need to do is really just start gathering my work. It's not too bad because I've already gathered the copy for the home page through Micah at Blossom Copy who was amazing to work with and was so helpful on creating, of course, the copy that I'm going to use directly from there. Next, I have some photos I'm going to use, and I have an amazing friend who's a photographer, so I have those photos already ready to go. I have my brand patterns that I've already started developing, so I have two different patterns I can go ahead and use, so those are ready to go. And then I have all of my project examples, so that's probably going to be the biggest thing for me to pull. I am thinking I might want to introduce some illustration icons, especially with like different services I have. I think those could be fun to have on the page and help break up space, so we'll see. Okay, so we're back with day two of now working on my website. I've gone ahead and already done the wireframing for this and Wireframing is just a really great tool to use for creating the layout and the overview of your website without having any of the design elements in it. So you just are looking at it more as a functionality point of view. I've also decided which site platform I'm going to be switching to. I was really debating between two and that was Shopify and Squarespace. It, I've just heard great recommendations about both really and Squarespace I actually have some background in. I, During my time working at an agency that was the site we used for building websites for our clients and so I already had a familiar basis with it and I ultimately decided after trying trials of both that I'm going to go ahead with Squarespace. Squarespace just had a really great price for it that included like a domain for the first year, Google business for the first year and everything like that. And I just love the aspect of the mobile design being developed as I was creating the website. So I didn't have to go in and feel like I had to do a whole nother second layer. And overall, they just have a really great setup to help you create a um, responsive layout for your website and then has a great way to keep your branding all consistent throughout the site as well. Now that I have that all settled, I'm going to go ahead and start actually putting my content into my website and setting up just those different aspects of Squarespace like my title page naming and SEO things and anything I need to really get it started. And within that is again setting up that consistency for my branding. So that's just interlaying the colors that I'm going to be using and the type choices and they just really have a great way to do that. That's almost like taking your style guide that you already developed and just putting it to use. All right, so now next up, I'm actually going to begin putting in the content into my website. And so I already put in a photo from my brand photo shoot that I want to go ahead and use on my homepage. And then I'm also just going to start interlaying the copy that Micah wrote for me and grabbing that from my homepage copy Google Doc and then whatever I've already put into my landing page wireframe. Way 
Now I wanna put a little bit of a focus on my design solutions area. I mentioned earlier that I want to have a bit of a introduction of graphic elements here. And so I just wanna begin playing with some different icons, different graphic components that I can create in Adobe Illustrator and bring into Squarespace and just start to see how they're looking and how they're fitting. I think by adding in a specific component here will really help draw attention to each different aspect that I have for my social strategy and just really help break up the copy so it's not just so much overwhelming to read. So I'm really thinking this long oval shape that I put in here is not really working super well with what I want it to do and how I want it to look. It's a little too big and a little too boxy for this area. So what I think I'm going to do is try a half circle and see how that looks instead. I think that's already still along the same lines with my branding and I just think that it's just again another trial and error type of designing overall just whenever you're doing anything with design it's constant trying something new and seeing how it's working and refixing it and reworking it and see how you can improve it uh website design is nothing different without that and so i just need to make sure that the image translates well onto the website platform and then also in responsive design too within the mobile design so i'm gonna work on playing around with that I didn't think it'd be this hard To go and try to let you down At first for sure we saw forever and the distance But the path of least resistance is the one where I don't see you anymore And yes, I'm sure about my choices I don't need you to take me home And though for sure the bed is warmer by your side Oh please believe me babe I've tried You're not the one I thought that you were gonna be I got you singing Ooh, I got the blues I got you singing Ooh, I don't know what to do Okay, so I think I have that in a pretty good spot now I just want to see how else I could introduce my patterns Or various logo marks and graphic elements to put a more spin on this so it's not just a Squarespace template per se. I also need to put a little bit of a focus on my footer because footers can be something that really get forgotten about and just left behind but if you make it work for yourself it can be just a really great way to utilize your website and really just put that end mark into your site. And plus your footer is going to be on every aspect of your page so you want to make it stand out too. Can you just get up and go? Oh, oh, you say the best I've ever had. I won't be bad. You drive me mad. I don't believe you when you say I'm gonna. All right. Well, I think I have my site in a pretty good spot, and I'm ready to share it with you and go over the final product. And so I'm just gonna walk you through it. First of all, up at the top, I added in this banner because it's talking about now booking my next projects and when that's going to be just a great way to have it throughout my website. This was one aspect that Micah suggested introducing to my layout and I was super happy she did and I think it will just be put to great use. Of course, I have my logo at the top and then since this is just a landing page, I don't have any other navigation elements that I want to go to right now. So I just have this contact me that if you were to click on this, this would help send an email to me. And then of course we have the header area. This is good for now. I think I could expand upon it. So I think as I design my true homepage for my website, I will change this up a little bit and just make it stand out a little more. But again, and there's another contact me, so you could send me an email if you were to click on that. The next element just talks a little bit about me. It includes a logo mark of mine and just goes over what my story is with my business. 
and then it goes into my design solution so different ways you can hire me and then i offer for services of work there's a little aspect of the graphic element i introduced and i'm really really happy with it i think it looks nice and it still looks clean and has that effect i'm looking for the next area i have just a few featured work areas um, this is a great way to showcase my projects in my actual home page i'll have these click through to my projects or to my project page but for now since this is just a landing page this gives a quick look into a couple projects i have next we have my inquiry area i have a touch of the pattern in it i have just a few elements for inquiring a project with me and then again you can submit that and we can begin the process of possibly working together Lastly, we have, of course, the Instagram social handle aspect where you can click through and follow along with me. And then we have my footer. So that is really everything right now with my website. So as previously mentioned, this was all built off of me starting a rebrand for myself. And I think Squarespace is just going to have so much more of that capability I was looking for. It's going to have an option for me to sell templates on there if I want to do that. It's just going to have a really easy platform for me to introduce a blog aspect. There's really great analytics with it. And overall, I'm just really happy with the response of that it creates through different mobile platforms and web sizing. I will be building this landing page out to be a full website. As you saw with my wire framing, it's going to be a lot larger than it is now. I am going to be working on that throughout the next few weeks. And so if you want to follow along with that, please consider subscribing to my channel because I will show you more of that. And then I also just will be showing you more about my creative life. I'll share more branding projects and things like that. If you want to work with me, I would love to take on your project. Just consider submitting an inquiry form below or you can shoot me a message over on Instagram and I'm happy to chat with you or even answer any questions. And I am so looking forward to talking to you guys next. Please like this video because it really helps out my channel and thank you so much for watching. It's just you didn't love me right It will take time to get in line Crawl up the vine You will be fine But you will have to be fine